Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. This is for the from now till the end of the year. What is coming towards you from now until December 31st, 2022? It's going to be in terms of love. This isn't going to completely resonate for each and every Leo out there. Um, so do take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. I'm going to pull Scrabble tiles at the end. So your person's initials, um, maybe that you're thinking of, or maybe you, brand new love is coming into your life and their initials are going to fall there. Maybe their name, your initials, your name. Um, so do, you know, do stick around till the end. I am doing that four reading giveaway at the end of the month. So new viewers, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and all you need to do is leave a gift or a present emoji in the description box of every reading that you watch of mine till the end of December. And then each time you do, your ad, your name's going to be added to the list. And I'm going to pour, 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 pull four random names to receive a 10 to 15 minute reading. Um, it could be about love, messages from spirit or general reading. Um, and I'm going to keep doing this every month. I did a $100 gift card giveaway at the beginning of, or for November, and people have said they'd rather have a reading, so I am going to do four free readings this month, okay? Let's see what's coming towards you. Travel. Some of you could be physically traveling from now until the end of the year, maybe spending New Year's somewhere for those of you that are celebrating the new fiscal year, the holidays. This could be travel to see your family, your friends. They could be traveling to you. But this is a brand new experience coming your way. Movement within some situations. Let's see what else. Okay, we'll take that one. For Leo. Okay. Look at this. Unawakened. I do feel there's going to be movement in a connection where someone was unawakened to the connection that they had with you. Yeah, somebody's going over memories in their head. You know, things that they did with you, remembering maybe places that you could have traveled for those of you that it resonates. And it's not like this unawakened is about to shift in that energy, become awakened to this connection. But then for some of you, it does say be ready for a brand new experience. This could be you letting go of things from the past and being ready for that brand new experience coming into your life. Let's see what comes out in the cards. For Leo, from now until the end of December. Spicy encounter. You always get that. I have to say, like, finding direction. See, there's going to be a shift in energy, I feel. Being shown the way. Divine guidance. And then here's warm embrace. Somebody that you might have had a spicy encounter with. And, you know, it was just more about the passion, the chemistry, the intimacy. I feel like there's going to be, like I said, an awakening to more, to feeling like, you know, to there's more here than just maybe a one night stand or the intimacy. feeling closed off protecting your heart I feel like you might be so into you know your daily routine and just going about being single protecting yourself that you may not see what's about to come the current situation yeah see you've taken a break went into rest mode went into relaxation getting your thoughts together 
quieting your mind, praying, meditating, whatever it is that you love to do to connect with your spirit guides in the universe and receiving those messages that they're sending you, that guidance. Thinking about your future. I feel like you've been in some thought. If you see the snow accumulating on these, on these poles, it's like you've been there for some time thinking about who you want in your life. I feel some people have not made you a priority and have taken advantage of you. It's like you've put your heart out there and you suffered from that. But look what's about to come. A brand new, like a breakthrough. Clarity. Trust. Honesty. Success. Yeah, see, in the past, there was a tower moment. Things that just fell apart in your life, fell apart in connections. And I feel like that's what put you in that rest mode. It's like how much more, you know, it's like that saying, like you, you're only given supposedly what you can deal with. So it's like a test of faith and strength. But I feel like for some of you, like this, this was just the, it just like toppled you over, you, you know, things that fell apart. There was like a point where you just had to separate from dating, from, you know, feeling like shit and allowing yourself to heal. You could have water in your energy you are you water in your chart or you can have air in your chart. I do have water and air here. So Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could also be a water sign coming towards you. For some of you, it's going to be this person that, that is now awakened and traveling towards you. But emotionally stable, ready for commitment. And I feel like for some of the for some of you, they're going to be traveling towards you. Six of Swords following. I love the Six of Swords in this deck because if you can see, following that star out of the rough waters into calm waters, better memories ahead. And they might be at a distance from you. Like I said, there might be some traveling involved. You could be traveling and running into this brand new opportunity. But for others of you, this could be somebody traveling in terms of reaching out to you. All right, let's see. Yeah, see, you've been holding back, focusing on yourself, your stability, your savings, your foundation. And I feel like you've had an ascension within this time off within this break. It's like, Leo, you already feel you have everything that you need. The nine of cups. It's like, you're good where you're at. You're feeling stable. You're good. It's like, you're looking out into the future. Like, you know what? Whether love or whether I have love or I'm, you know, I'm doing single right now. I'm okay. I feel like this ascension is a self-evaluation Coming to the end of the year, it's like you looking out onto your future thinking, do I really need to keep thinking about this person? I mean, they, they have hurt me. They haven't been awakened to this connection at all. Or maybe it's someone that you had a one night stand with or just a few flings with. And it's like, you know what? I feel like there's more. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. But now there's going to be someone that wants long term with you that wants trust and honesty you have the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles and exactly from this tower came strength exactly your energy showing up it's like you look out onto your future you're closing out those chapters of what's not supposed to be in your life moving into 2023 you're closing out all that bullshit and you're moving towards the new for some of you, this person may become awakened. 
and they can follow you on your journey. But for others of you, this is going to be a brand new experience entering your life. And they're ready for commitment. And I do feel like it might be when you're out having a good time, maybe with friends, family, co-workers. It could even be for some of you that this person who now is awakened to their feelings for you, that you run into them. But they're coming in confident. I feel like they're going to show up in your energy when you least expect it. Because if you see this, here's the King of Cups. It fell this way. So here's this love showing up in your energy. The King, the Queen of Wands showing up in your energy. And you're looking the other way. So I feel like while you're guarding your heart and protecting yourself, here comes this offer. Here comes this this offer of wanting a relationship. They see you as very sexy, as very confident. And with this black cat here, it's like you've got that, you've got that luck on your side. You're very confident. And here's that nine of cups at the bottom. Yeah, see? It's like you already have what you feel like you've desired. I feel like you've come to a point whether if they're not awakened to who you are and to your to what you're worthy of and to like the love that they were you were showing them, the affection you were showing them, it's okay. Leo can do Leo because Leo is strong. However, there is this brand new beginning happening. So it's only about to get better. I feel like you are being noticed. And there's somebody coming towards you. All right, let's see. Please clarify what is coming towards Leo from now until the end of 2022. Anyone who follows all my readings, you guys know I don't, I always say timeless because it's always going to be different for each and every one of you. But for some of you, this is going to happen by the end of 2022. All right. Three of Wands. There you are. You've thought about your future. And because you've put it out there to the universe and your thoughts, it's coming to fruition. You're manifesting your dreams. And there's that world card. That was just at the bottom of the other deck, remember? So this ascension, is it's like leading to this brand new chapter in your life. No more feeling out in the cold. No more feeling like you showed up and got 20% from someone. There's the end of, to you, of you feeling left out in the cold. There's balance coming towards your life. And this King of Cups... Spirit, who is this King of Cups coming towards Leo? Somebody who wants to come clean. Somebody who wants to come in and make things right. I really feel like it's going to be a shock to you. With the tower and the two of cups. It's like someone's having a breakthrough within themselves and coming towards you. All right, final message for Leo from now till the end of 2022. Yeah, I feel like it's close those old chapters. Close, out, close them out. Let it go. Because at the bottom of the deck is you showing up again. You are this force to be reckoned with. No matter what, even the Nine of Wands energy, you stood back up and you were very resilient. I feel like within this break, you've had an ascension within yourself. All right, what else? Spirit for, okay. Okay. Let's see. All right, we'll take what came out. 
Yeah, see, there is going to be, see, good things. You've planted the seeds along this journey. You definitely could be dealing with a Taurus. We've got, we have Aries here. Taurus. Sagittarius. Scorpio. Capricorn. Pisces. And Aquarius. So like I said, we have air energy. We have obviously fire. And we have water. The only earth that we have is this two of coins and it's the, um, it's Capricorn. So these could be many placements of the person coming towards you, their energy and their chart. But there's, you've planted the seeds and there is a breakthrough coming. Karma in your favor. Growth in what you've thought about for your future. All right, let's see what else. And remember, I'm doing the Scrabble tiles, guys, so do stick around to the very end. All right, Spirit, for my Leos. Oh, okay. For some of you, it's going to... It could be somebody from your past. This always shows up. For someone, it could be that comforting connection, that friendship that you might have had. They're coming towards you with more feelings for you. This person that you could always turn to for support and love. But I also feel what's coming towards you is going to make your inner child very happy. See, there's something developing over time. For some of you, like I said, it's going to be that awakening. There's someone thinking about memories they've had with you and they're coming towards you. All right, let me make sure none of these flipped over. All right. The map. See, there might be some traveling involved. Might be at a distance from you. Like I said, you could be traveling home to see family, friends. Um, you could be going out with coworkers and in like a different area than you had met this person and been with this person. And by you going out with coworkers, they could be traveling somewhere very near you, to you. It's like what I'm trying to say is what's truly meant for you will show up in your energy. You don't have to do anything. They will show up. Mountains will be moved. Obstacles will be moved for you to be with who you're meant to be with. All right. Empty nest. Closing the chapter to whatever made you feel like you were on the outside looking in. And looking forward to that brand new beginning happening. And there it is. Staying in your power. Leos should remain in their power because it works for you guys. Stay in your power because that's what this person is being drawn to. It's like they're noticing you. All right. Anything else, Spirit, for Leo from now till the end of December 2022? All right. All right, we're going to take all the ones that flipped over or that fell out. I'm triggered. An old, per an old pattern has surfaced and it hurts. This could be somebody that's going through an ending of their own right now. And they think back to the times where everything was completely amazing with you. And it's like, you know what? Leo was always ready to to like do whatever I wanted, to love on me, to show up with um, affection, to bring me lunch at work, to bring me dinner at work, to plan that B&B &B or that, you know, that, what is that called when you go breakfast? That place you stay and they get breakfast. Anyway, but you know, you could have these memories with them and then something falls apart, has them feeling alone, 
and like thoughts of you feeling so great when they were them feeling so great when they were with you triggers them to contact you. I care about you even when I act like I don't. I'm hiding my true feelings because I'm vulnerable. But there is coming clean. Remember the seven of swords in reverse. My inner child was wounded when my parents couldn't respond to me in the way I needed them to. Now, for some of you, you're going to know if this person came from a hard family life or a hard upbringing, you know, and you'll know if that's why they remain closed off. When our conversations are lighthearted and playful, it eases the tension that is sometimes there when we talk. And last but not least, the next solstice. So we're going into, I mean, we're, we're technically still fall. So we're, if we're going to go with the next solstice, it'll be winter for Northern Hemisphere and summer for the Southern Hemisphere. Draw another card to get an idea where the shift in energy is taking place for Leo. Okay. The shift in energy spirit. Okay. When I let myself go deeper into thoughts of you, I can feel my heart opening. See, this person is becoming awakened for some of you. For others of you, there's going to be a brand new love that comes into your life. Okay. A, I, E, A, A, Y, H, I, N, G, E, blank, T, P, R, P, E, S, J, another I, another E, T, L, Y. So I see Haiti, H A I T I. I see Pete. I see TJ, so they might have initials TJ, PJ. I do know a PJ. I also know a TJ. I see Harry. But do go ahead and if this reading resonated more so than not, focus on these tiles. And for those of you that are looking for brand new love, take a screenshot of these tiles. So that when that love does come into your life very soon, by the end of the year for some, you can come back and see if their initials are right here. I see Gary and Guy. No, I don't. Gary. Well, we could use this as the blank one, Guy, for some of you. Because that just came to my head. But yeah, focus on this. And then I, I did do your 2023 reading, but I am going to take a break from doing the other readings for 2023 just because I'm going to get these last two weeks in for 2022. Um, but who knows? I mean, Leo's are my most viewed. So I may do another 2023 reading. It'll, it, it could be like an extra message added on to your 2023 readings or might be a completely separate message for you guys. We'll see. All right. Love and light. Have a good rest of the 2022 year. For those of you that celebrate happy holidays, for those of you that celebrate what I celebrate, Merry Christmas. I am grateful for each and every one of you. Um, and my shop will be reopening on the 26th. So we're getting there. And also for those of you that want those to be a part of the free readings, leave a gift or a present emoji. Just a reminder. All right, love and light, guys. Stay safe.